So what's up with you? You might be a preteen in junior high school or uh, falling in love for the first time. University student. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe you're a millennial seeking a kindred spirit uh, to inspire you. Um, through rap music. TikTok. Video games, hip electronic devices. Uh, perhaps you relate to the Swedish teenager Greta Thunberg, who shouted her truth at the embarrassed United Nations diplomats. Uh, save our world from climate change apocalypse. Yeah, the youth. The future is yours. Well, I'm 74, and, you know, my life mission to teach humanity about earth people hmm. naturally winding down well, appropriate moment for me to pass on the leadership so today uh, October 1st 2017 I'm recording this uh, uh, I pass on the earth people uh, movement to Andre Andre open-hearted millennial lives mostly in uh, San Francisco area, digital native, tech savvy programmer. He's created a video game, brilliant programmer, you know, podcast, cryptocurrencies. You know. I'm living the last chapter in the Wheel of Life of Buddhism. And we've been trained to stay focused on reality, don't look away. I might be dead in six months. Who knows? During this pandemic. Well, uh, intuitive wisdom. It's time to uh, stop. Uh, uh, gift my vision to the younger folks who have more skillful means. Mm -hmm. Well... Uh, to transcend and to yeah, include the World Citizen Movement of Gary Davis, the Earth People Movement of Earth Man, yeah, and uh, live that out more evolved in a more evolved global way that I couldn't possibly even imagine. So uh, my private wish, my wish in the closing chapter of my life is to merge with true reality, to transcend the sad, agonizing, optical delusion of, well, what's common waking consciousness. Uh, my guide, Ken Wilber, would express this as uh, you are not living in the room. The room is living in you. Yeah, 74. Deeply peaceful, grateful. I live in a jungle shack here, yeah. No running water. I, I, I like this humble, minimalist, uh, yogic uh, situation. Uh, I'm radiant, yeah, fulfilled. Uh, I choose to live simply. And, and why I am happy and radiant is because I have fulfilled uh, and adeptly pass forward the message of the earth people. The message that I was born to deliver. I've delivered. I chant love songs to the gods and goddesses on the subtle plane within me. I wander silently alone in the jungle. Well, to celebrate our 50th anniversary, our Earth People family has, uh, is purchasing three acres of pristine old growth. Hawaii, this could be 200 years ago in Hawaii. Banyan trees, mango trees, more than 150 years old. Yeah, uh, we do this to create Earth Temple Hawaii to complement our other Earth temples in various uh, 
Earth zones around the planet. Yeah. And like Alex and Allison Gray, we feel, we Earth people feel, uh, create new age temples. It's essential. We're talking about external physical manifestations. I mean, inner temple sanctuaries are easy, easy to conjure up. Just use your imagination. But external, outer temples are more challenging to build. You're working in a denser, more exposed to dark forces medium of reality. An external reality subject to hurricanes, lava flows, falling trees, coconuts, termites, neighbor hassles, interpersonal disharmonies, theft, and a sustainable cash flow. Yeah, uh, well, the reward of the challenge. So we get to pass it all on, yeah, to younger generations. And uh, we create a safe space where digital nomads and spiritualists take refuge. And most significantly of all, where earth goddess, nature, surround you and loves you because you are safeguarding her divinity. O Manapemion, may all